Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Thanks for stopping by our little sliver of the internet. Uh, today we're looking at some family film. Yeah, a family film. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> this one is called The Secret Kingdom. It is directed by Matt Drummond. I mean, it's the story of Peter and Verity who end up going out to an old family home of theirs. Their parents, uh, they're hit on a bit of a rough time. So while they're out there, uh, they're just trying to make the best of it. Well, Peter has been having these visions all along and these visions get stronger and stronger as he's in the house and finally he finds him and Verity pulled into this secret kingdom, this very magical and uh, imaginative world where they're being protected by aardvarks in uh, armor who can talk and who see Peter as part of the prophecy. And uh, soon uh, Peter, Verity, and a couple of uh, talented escorts uh, go on an adventure to help fulfill the prophecy and save uh, the secret kingdom from a dark force that wants to take it over um you know it always surprises me what goes direct to video and what doesn't get wide release because i think this could have deserved a wide release i had no problems with it now is it a bit predictable some of it is but there's a wonderful twist that they do with the characters in the story that uh, I didn't quite see coming, but I was happy they did because it the twist wasn't just there. It helped serve for a purpose for the development of the characters in the film. So I really dug the twist and the imagination that went into this film, this world that they create that Peter and Verdi are in. Uh, is is looks fantastic. You wouldn't think this was uh, not done by a major studio. The special effects in here look far better than a lot of effects we've gotten on the wide release movies as of late. Um, and, and because pretty much all the environments they are in and the characters they're interacting with are CGI in some way, shape, or form. And uh, this young crew, just the uh, talent, does very well with that and helps selling these characters along with some wonderful voice acting. But this world that in. I did not expect the scope uh, that you get with this movie. Uh, it was just, it, I'm a big visual guy, and I thought the imagination and talent and artistry that went into creating The Secret Kingdom, I thought, uh, was was really well done. They were trying to go for something a little bit original, give you a little bit more of a flair of uh, fanciful, and I think they achieved that here. There's some clockwork creatures that end up helping Peter out that I thought looked great and were wonderful and very imaginative, you know? Uh, and yeah, it hits similar beats. We've seen some of this before, but some of it is new, and all of it just looked sharp. They really put a lot of work into it. What was also sharp as the performances of our young talent. You have Sam Everingham who plays a Peter and he does a wonderful job of playing the sympathetic character who's got uh, you know just this issue that he's trying to deal with. You feel that, you feel for him, you want to see him succeed and you feel his confusion as he's drawn into this uh, very strange world and the pressure that he has to try to help fulfill this prophecy and just get back home with his sister. Verity is wonderfully played by a Laya Brown. I loved, she was very charming, a very brave character, plays that age perfectly to where she's not really phased by a lot of things. And, you know, sometimes she's way ahead of the game uh, and waiting for Peter to catch up and just uh, a fun character, very uh, adorable. And they have some wonderful interactions uh, with Sam Everingham. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, yeah, while it is some familiar territory, some things we've seen before, I think this is worth a watch. It's one that you can watch with your family. Uh, it sparks the imagination. There's some great artistry in here, some very creepy uh, doll soldiers. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, and while the adults may not find as much entertainment into it, I think kids will. I know the kid in me found a lot to like with The Secret Kingdom. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, bells and whistles and all that. Help us get to 2,500 subs or more by the end of the year. Good to have goals, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.